These rallies are almost always seen as a poll and a party support. For this, Hamas attracted a crowd easily in the thousands in southern Gaza. With a huge poster of Jerusalem as the backdrop, speaker after speaker condemned the US decision to recognize the city as Israel's capital. Hamas's leader suggested that Donald Trump was now left politically isolated given the international condemnation of the move. The American and Israeli position is weakened on the international level and for the first time in the history of the conflict, the whole world is on one side with Trump and Netanyahu on the other side alone. This is more evidence of the weakness of their position. Hamas also made sure the crowd remembered it had opposed the Oslo Accords and as the movement moves closer to a political agreement with Fatah, the distinction is important locally with possible new elections on the horizon. In the crowd, they insisted the rally sent an important message. I came here today to renew my support for Hamas and to show support for Jerusalem, the city Donald Trump recognised as the capital of Israel. Jerusalem is ours. I come to these rallies every year. This year we have national reconciliation and we have Trump's decision on Jerusalem. The people here are sending a message to the enemy and to Trump. Hamas believes the size of the turnout here sends a message both regionally and internationally that its voice and those who support it cannot be ignored. Alan Fisher, Al Jazeera, Gaza.